Man, oh man, these manga artists, I mean, they really work themselves to the bone. <clears throat> I mean, they work crazy amount of hours. If I only get four hours of sleep, if I only get four hours of sleep, I will start throwing punches. So today we're going to talk about three manga artists with crazy work schedules, guys. Let's go. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video, okay? Enjoy. Hey, what is up guys, this is Andy Matrix, welcome to Andy RCV, where I talk about anime, movies, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about manga artists, uh, three of them, and we're gonna talk about their work schedule and the reality of making beautiful, beautiful manga and anime. I mean, it's hard enough that when it comes to anime, a lot of, you know, animators don't get paid shit. Voice actors make a, voice actors make really good money, but animators, they don't, they don't get paid any, they don't get paid much. You know, they basically work, you know, McDonald's minimum wage <laughs> in Japan. And then, um, yeah, and then manga artists, they work to the bone. I mean, they make a lot of money, like for example, Rumiko Takahashi, the uh, creator of manga uh, of uh, Ranma. If you guys grew up with Ranma one half, she works like she's she's a millionaire. She she she's worth like a hundred million dollars, but she still works crazy hours to make her manga. I I don't get it. You know, so here we are at Sora News, which is a it's a it's a Japanese Asian. Uh, news outlet very reliable. I like it. I've been using it for years So manga legend Ri uh, Rikumo but uh, Rumiko, Rumiko Takahashi reveals her insane working schedule Okay, this is the manga artist of Ranma one half So if you guys remember Ranma, she, uh, Ranma basically transformed from a uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like the first transgender <laughs> character one of the first transgender anime characters and <laughs> kind of funny, you know, Japan was already, they already had transgender characters way before America started complaining about it. So it says many famous anime and manga creators are known for their own big hit, but not Rumiko Takahashi, for whom Inuyasha, Rama One Half, Urusei Yatsura, and My Son Ho Wait, she did Urusei Yatsura? Wow. Yo, this lady is amazing. And what else Mason Ikoku are just a handful of her of her claims to fame. Man. <clears throat> so, so let's take a look at a day in the drawing in the drawing working uh working life of Rumiko Takahashi. It says before noon, do the do the inking for seven or eight pages or character artwork. It says noon, eat lunch, do housework. 4 p.m. read, do housework. 7 p.m. eat eat dinner do housework 9 p.m start drawing new artwork <laughs> wow so this is from noon so she's like uh she does a lot of housework wow i mean uh isn't she married does she have kids maybe she does i don't know it doesn't say it says okay that's that doesn't seem too bad right sure that's what looks like a long gap in the middle says following going back to work in a, around the time of people would be will be starting to think about getting ready for bed but the, but those aren't too unusual unusual for professionals in creative fields right so but what happens next is is where things get crazy if takahashi starts drawing at nine at night night time when does she go to bed you might be asking there's something missing from schedule for for the day right it says nope takahashi goes on to show her schedule for the following days too said so the next day nine in the morning temporary stop working go to bed she goes to bed at nine in the morning noon eat lunch so she wakes up sometime at noon 11 to 12 it says eat lunch do housework 4 p.m draw start drawing 7 p.m so she draws from 4 p.m. to 7. All right, so that's about three hours. It says, take a break at 7 p.m., eat dinner, 8 p.m., start drawing again. And then from 8 p.m. all the way till 9 in the morning, 
She's working. Holy jeez. So that's eight. So that's eight p.m. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then one in the morning. That's about like almost sixteen hours. That is crazy. That's crazy hours, man. Oh man, I, I can't do it. <laughs> wow. And they do it all for, all for us. They create all this beautiful manga just for us. And then we have the Detective Conan and Gosho Aoyama. I don't know if you guys ever watched Detective Conan, but um, the creator works 20 hours per day, five days per week. At least he gets Saturdays and Sundays free, I guess, you know. But look, 20 hours per day, that's you only get four hours of sleep each day. So that means between getting up and going to eat breakfast and dinner and going back, to, you know, and then going back to work, that's four hours of sleep. That means, yeah, 24 hours a day, four hours of sleep. Wow. So Gosho Aoyama, uh, manga artist of Detective Conan. Let's look at his crazy work schedule, man. Where is it? It says, besides... Many re-owned manga creators have demanded work work schedules. One Piece creator Eichi Eichoro Oda claims to only sleep two from two in the morning to five in the morning. Wow, four hours of sleep. And actually, yeah, here's the One Piece manga artist. Uh, what's his name again? Yeah, Oda. Yeah, four hours of sleep. Said so wake up at five in the morning, start working, continue working through the day, only to take breaks for things like eating. Go to bed at 2 in the morning. Man, if I only get 4 hours to sleep, I'll start throwing punches. I'll, I'll, I'll throw a tantrum. Jesus Christ, I'll quit my job. My goodness. And let me tell you something. I, I've, I'm a creator too. I am a creator. In case you guys didn't know, Andy Matrix. Okay, Andy Matrix, you guys... I've actually written novels. I, I write epic fantasy novels. I haven't written in a, in a long time. The last novel I wrote was in like 2018, 2017, something like that, right? I wrote a trilogy which sold like 600 pages. I mean, it's 600 pages, 600 copies. And after I get out of work, I will work my, my nine to five job. And then once I get out, I went straight home. I would eat something and I will start writing. So I will work. So I would like write from like seven, from seven to like 10 every day. So my job plus writing novels, it is exhausting. I tell you, it is freaking exhausting. And th this is me with a, with a part, with a, with a job and trying to do something with my, with my creative life, right? With my, with my, my art, my, uh, my craft, writing epic fantasy novels. These manga artists, they work harder. They work so much harder than comic book artists in the west and you know what they deserve the success they this manga deserves the success it gets they deserve it absolutely all this hard work put into it they deserve every penny they make and they deserve the, tw the top 20 comic books sales in, in in america they work so much harder and it's, it's, it's higher quality work. They they create a story that people want to read instead of pushing activism like a lot of com, you know comic book artists do in the comic book, comic book industry. I mean, recently Emilia Clark, the uh, the actor that played Daenerys on Game of Thrones, she wanted to get into the into the comic book industry, and her idea for a superhero character was a, a female superhero that that she gets her power from her period or something. <laughs> From her period, you know, from the, uh, you know, the, the monthly female cycle, right? And, and I don't know, and like, like she can, she can swing from the hairs of her armpit. It, it's some crazy, just silly, just nonsense idea. Like, I don't understand how, how a lot of people in the West, how a lot of these Western creators think that people are going to, people are going to enjoy these, these crazy nonsense stories okay this is why manga is winning okay and this is why uh ma manga artists that work 20 hours a day for us this is why they deserve to be millionaires they, they absolutely deserve it so take my money 
Rumiko, take my money. Oda, take my money. Uh, Gosho, you guys deserve every freaking penny you make. What is up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at ndrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed.